Hello, Colas, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with this transfer report talking about this Newcastle United midfielder Bruno Guimaraes. As it has been reported by transfer expert Fabrizio Romano that the Barca target is unlikely to come to the club as Newcastle have changed their minds. They want to renew his contract. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Ace Abdei as a player is reportedly likely to leave Barca on a permanent deal as a lot of interest have been coming from Spain and the Premier League. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Earlier today, some bizarre reports emerged claiming that Newcastle United had offered midfield mainstay Bruno Guimaraes plus 30 million euros to FC Barcelona in order to sign Rafinha. The report came off as quite baffling considering how crucial Bruno Guimaraes is for Eddie Howe's team. As such, Fabrizio Romano has come out with a fresh update stating that Newcastle United are working so hard to renew the Brazilian's contract as a priority. That pretty much rules out the possibility of the Magpies having offered the midfield superstar to Barcelona as part of a deal to sign Rafinha. Guimaraes has been with Newcastle United since January last year, having joined from Olympique Lyon. The Brazilian soon became an integral part of the team at St. James's Park and has been crucial to their rise over the past 18 months or so. Barcelona, for their part, has shown an interest in his services this summer as part of their search for a replacement for Sergio Busquets. However, his signing was never really considered as a realistic possibility due to his importance in this new castle setup and his price tag. But the aforementioned report today suggested that the La Liga champions FC Barcelona had been offered a chance to sign Guimaraes as part of their efforts to rope in Rafinha. However, Fabrizio Romano has now pretty much poured co water on any such possibility stating that Newcastle considered the midfielder's contract renewal a top priority. Talks have been taking place already, you know, as his agents recently and more negotiations are expected soon, with the Premier League side ready to hand him a big increase in salary. So the possibility of a transfer to Barca at this point appears to be non-existent. Of course, yesterday's report was making a lot of waves because we know that Newcastle are also showing interest in Barca winger Rafinha and rumors coming out yesterday that Newcastle wanted Rafinha at all costs and by so doing, they wanted to do a very big and surprising deal by including Bruno Guimaraes in that. Like Bruno Guimaraes will come to Barca and Newcastle at 30 million. And to be honest, if that was actually the case, Barca could still be very tempted to take such a deal. Considering that Bruno Guimaraes is also a very good player, you know, what a signing he was for Newcastle last season. And of course, Fabrizio Romano, the ever-reliable journalist, have come out to say all those were lies. Nothing had happened like that. It might be true that Newcastle United really like Rafinha and they wish to have him on their ranks. But if they want Rafinha, they want to do it with negotiations without any player exchanges you know i'm talking about bruno Guimaraes. this is not the first time we've been talking about bruno Guimaraes. Barca have been long linked with bruno Guimaraes. you know even before last season ended Barca have been showing interest in him i'm seeing how good he is i'm seeing him as one of the replacements for busquets if possible but now that newcastle are prioritizing renewing his contract the possibility of that happening now is very, very slim. But nothing has been concluded as of yet. As Fabrizio Romano just said, you know, Newcastle wants to, to renew his contract and they see it as a priority. So, 
Barcelona showing interest in multiple other players in that midfield position as we all know it. Bruno Gremerich link is not that strong so I don't think that it will be any big issue for Barca if the, the player doesn't come to the camp now because Barca also focus on other areas that they want to strengthen. Of course we know the DM is the top priority for manager Xavi and his coaching staff and of course we've been linked with a couple of midfielders like Sofian Abrabat, Joshua Kimmich, Itzubi Mendy, you know Guido Rodriguez and so on and so forth but you know players that will come they will come honestly Barcelona are trying their best to ensure that everything is well on track in order to sign players which means Barca needs to have that space on their wage bill talking about sales we have not sold any players of yet officially to say okay there's this space after this player have left despite Mark um, Sergio Busquets and Jody Alba deciding to depart we still have a lot of problems that we can't even sign a single player without registering them if we don't sell more players. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, there have been a lot of contradicting reports emerging on Ace Abde recently. Abde, who spent last season on loan at Osasuna, has been touted as the only loanee who might have a future at Barcelona next season. Indeed, reports last week suggested that Barca believed Abde was ready for top-level football and they were planning to keep hold of the speed star beyond the summer. However, Gerard Romero is reporting now that Abde is on the exit run in the summer and is ready fielding offers from England and La Liga. The 21-year-old Moroccan enjoyed a very good spell at loan on Osasuna as you know he finished with six goals and two assists to his name in all competitions helping the club to a seventh place finish in la liga and the runner-up spot in the copa del rey with there be reports linking the likes of ferran torres and Ansu Fati with exits from barca this summer it was suggested that abde would be an option to replenish the left back or the ref flank in the catalan's attacking unit However, now, doubts are growing over Ansu Fati leaving the club. The 20-year-old's agent had stated that the forward has no desire to leave Barca earlier this month. Following that, the young La Masia graduate confirmed last night that he wishes to stay put at Barca. As such, in case Fati ends up staying at the club, Abde's chances of living will only increase as the youngster is keen on playing regularly. If it comes to that, the Moroccan ace is not short of options, as we know. He has clubs from Premier League and La Liga pushing too hard for his signature. It has also been reported previously that Bundesliga club Bayer Leverkusen are also interested in the attacker. So it will be interesting to see whether Abde does stay put at Barca or ends up departing permanently this summer. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.